Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to my humble home on the windy hills of Livingston, Montana. My name is Jim. Okay, what I'm doing is still getting accustomed to an e-bike that I recently bought. I bought a, the model is a Quattro, like like in Spanish, you know, the number four, Quattro. And it's made by an outfit called Cy Rusher, C-Y-R-U-S-H-E-R. And anyway, I got the bike put together yesterday, but basically what I'm doing with the help of my grandson, by the way, but what I'm doing today is I'm just tweaking it a little bit and getting used to the electronics. Because when it comes to electronics, I'm a real no. I really am. Back in my working day, I was mostly I mostly welded and did construction work and stuff like that. But when it came to electronics, I was a dummy, you know. Oh no, he was a dummy. But anyway, I'm going to show you a little bit about this battery and how to install it, whatever had been, a few things I've learned thus far today, which... I hope I can keep myself in frame here and you can see what I'm doing. But let's take a look at this deal here. Okay, the battery, quite obviously on this unit right here, goes right here underneath, underneath this main support. And it, it kind of slides in like this and then just clips. You just snap it up there like that. But what you want to do is don't get to fiddling around with this key too much. Unless you've got positive control of this battery, it'll, or the battery will just fall out. Because this, this is a lock that locks your battery in, okay? So you want to make sure that you don't lose this key. All right, all right. Let me see if I got that. Sorry if this thing's out of focus. But last night I charged this battery up and it took about five or six hours, but it already had some charge in it. I, I you know, I think coming from the factory, it's got about 50% charge, but I'll tell you one thing, the, the, the battery charger gets pretty warm, pretty hot. So you might want to put something underneath it, like a tin plate or something like that. Uh, this particular battery right here is a, let's see, it's a 750 watt battery that tops off at 12, uh, 1,200 watts. And I don't know, I, I think you're supposed to be able to achieve a speed of around 28, 30 miles an hour with this bike, but I, I'm not concerned about that. I think you can get around 50 miles of, of distance between charges, and I know a charge is gonna be right around six, seven hours, okay? But, you know, and I don't know what else there is to tell you about that. Oh yeah, one other thing, this little rubber grommet right here is where you can charge, to put the little ch charging nozzle in there, if you will, charging connector, and in case you don't want to take the battery out, but removing the battery is very, very easy. You just got to make sure you, you got a hold of the doggone thing right up here like this when you get to fiddling with these keys, or otherwise it'll fall out on you. That's what happened to grandson and I yesterday. So just a few words of caution there. You know, not like I, I'm a total noob when it comes to this stuff. So, you know, just take whatever I'm saying with a grain of salt here. Let's go upstairs here and look at this little meter or little CPU or whatever they're calling it. This guy up here. Okay. The only thing I've learned so far is how to turn this on. I purposely got this out and I, I've got this shadowed in the shadows right here so that this will show up a little bit better. But right here in the middle of this control pad, there, if you look at that real close, that's an on. That means on right there. So just press that and turn that bugger on. I was kind of surprised to see I had a, uh, a, a color LCD screen on here because this was supposed to be black and white. I think Cyrusher needs to update their website or whatever have you, but... Anyway, that's how you do that. And this up and down right here is how you go through the through the uh, passive the passive control, PAS, I guess they call it. Watch this, see? Three, two, one. Yeah, that's your electronic assist there, whatever they, you know, pedal assist, whatever. I still gotta fool around with this shifter and a few other things. It's not really all that complicated. I do have a throttle right there for the, to give it juice, where am I at here? Right there. And so, yeah. Well, anyway, I see I got four and a half minutes on this file here. I'll continue recording, but I just wanted to record this way for now. Okay, go on to the next scene, please. Oh no, it's evil can evil.
Oh no. One thing I can honestly say here, these things have got a lot more get up and go than what a guy thinks. <laughs> First couple of times I goosed this thing, I almost fell off of it. I just ain't no kidding either. But I'm finding the pedals to be a little uncomfortable for some reason, but I'll, I'll get down to the bottom of all that. Now basically my advice is when you get one of these, just turn it on and go. Right here is a, your throttle control, it's what they call a half throttle. And right here controls your Shimano gears. Me, I'm in gear two, and I haven't got past uh, pedal assistance one. Uh, is there anything else I need to know? Oh, it's 26 degrees Celsius out here. I'm running at 54.0 volts. That's pretty good. I'm only supposed to have a 48 volt, 48 volt battery in this thing. I forgot to say that earlier. But yeah. Pretty good. I don't want to think I'm going to invest in. That's a, I don't have suspension in the back of this bike. And I, I ordered it like that. But I, I think I'm going to get one of them seats that's got springs in it. You know, there's, they make them. They're pretty expensive. But yeah, this thing is a, maybe not quite as, not, maybe not quite as smooth as I thought. But after all, I'm an old man and I ain't been on a bicycle for many, many years. So going to take a little while to get used to this but i would advise people that are looking in on this movie file don't give up just get on and go So, anyway, I think what I'll do is shut that doggone camera off there just simply because it's because I would be spinning around in my yard all day long. It don't mean nothing. Okay, then. Let me dismount this sucker. Okay, there we go. Well, I'll give this another go here. I hope I ain't boring you folks. Yeah. You might want to get your feet planted real well when you first start out because this, this thing's kind of a wobbly affair until you get some juice under you. I'm going to put some power to this guy. Good. Right up here. Give a little juice to it.
One thing I found out is you don't want to make too fast of a turn. Not at, at my stage of development anyway, because a little while ago I face planted myself. Or I, I had a major crash, if you will, because I turned the corner too sharp to my right and I dug in and fell off the bike. That's no kidding. But I was out of frame, I was trying to record, but I know what everybody's saying, sure, Jim, sure. Yeah, I would have shared that with you, but I was out of frame, no kidding. Anyway, it's feeling pretty good, but it's going to take me a while to get used to this contraption. That's for dog, I'm sure. Oops. Yeah, I'm a pretty big fella. Okay, then. Well, Bill Wind is starting to kick up here in Livingston, Montana. So I think before this file gets too long winded, I'll just do this closing scene here. And like I've said right along, this, this is the model of this bike. If you're liking what you see here, it's a, it's a Quattro. There's how it's spelled. And of course the company that puts these out, it's, it's a Chinese concern, but that is the name there, Shy, Shy, Shy Rusher. Now when I got, into this when i when i look down this rabbit hole rabbit hole of, of e-bikes believe you me this was a doggone deep hole i mean everybody in their dog is making these things so what i basically did is match my body size and my requirements the best i could uh to 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 a bike and then this is what i ended up with is this the best bike to ha have heavens no i can't really claim that because you know, you might find something that fits you a lot better. That's the number one piece of advice that I got is get a knee bike if you're starting out like I am that fits you. There's certain things that don't fit me quite right and I'm going to have to work on. Like for some reason, my legs and feet don't match up to those pedals real well. Real well. I'm going to have to see about that. And I love the step through thing though. I don't think I would like to bike you know, that I had to do anything different with. This step two is just all right as far as I'm concerned. If you want to know what I gave for this, I gave a little over 1700 for the bike, a helmet, and a rack, and a bigger seat. Because I hate, I've been on, I've owned, I owned a mountain bike once in my life. And believe you me, these skinny weird little seats right here are not good for the derriere, if you know what I'm talking about. Uh, the only thing I need to do now, I'm pretty much getting this down pat, but that that control right there, or that yeah, that control, I need to go through that that little CPU or that circuit board up there, and so that's what I need to do. And I don't know what else I can tell you, but I'm going to quit for today because I'm going to go rest for a little while, and then I'm going to come out here and do a little bit of evening riding. So that's all there is to it. And yes, I really did take a dive way back in my backyard. If you can see that red water marker back there, that's where I fell over. And I am really glad that I was on grass. Really glad. Okay, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. Take care of yourselves. And we'll see. Oh, by the way, if you like my channel, Sign up for the program. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Give me a middle finger. Give me something. Make some comments if you would. Sure appreciate it. Okay, adios, my friends. Take care of yourself. We'll see you on down the Kai Rusher. <laughs>